not sure I want all of that on there. I was kind of fussing around and just messing around with myself. So how do I practice? What do I do? I look for a read. I get my mouthpiece out. I put the clarinet together. I start praying. And then it starts working. And then I, I know the most important thing about practicing is it's not what you do. It's how you do it. It's how you practice. You can practice anything. And if you practice it with awareness and presence, you can get better. You can get much better. That's basically what I do. The other, the other moment, Maury's, uh, Maury's uh, cell phone rang, and I liked the sound of it. And it went... So I thought, okay. So what did I just do? I took the intervals of the ringing of his message on his computer and I said, can I play that down through the keys? All it was was a fifth. The C to the F, G to C, and going to, so it's five, one, two, and I know that. So that's something that we could all learn how to do. In other words, play one thing in several keys. But just that one thing. So what you got to know is how am I hearing it and what am I doing and what am I doing as I'm guiding these fingers across the break of the clarinet and through the tone of the clarinet and through the air I'm listening. You know, when you first pick up the horn, of course, you know, I've been playing a little bit today, so I'm not totally cold, so it's not how it happens, like, as soon as I pick up an instrument. But I might pick up the instrument and come across an interval like that and say, well, let me try it in a few keys. And then I get to know the interval of a fifth, the interval of a second, and then I have this language that I can speak out. And then I become proficient all over the register of the clarinet. But I'm not liking how smooth it is when I got to the break, so I'm saying, I'm playing it too fast. And I just changed it and it went into something else, but I slowed it down, started to become aware of what I'm doing, and then try to refine it. Oh, I didn't like the way that sounded. I'm going to try to make the interval a little bit smoother. It could be anything. So you have to kind of get creative in your own practicing if you're not creative when you practice and you don't know what you're practicing and you're not present when you're practicing, not a lot is going to change. It, nothing will change unless you're present, you're aware, and you're, you're kind of driving this instrument. Beautiful. Eddie, that was awesome. That in cameras? That was awesome. Cool. Yeah. <laughs>